Hello and welcome to Photokina TV. I was invited two days ago to an event that was called a pre-vision event. It was an event by Sigma uh, Lens Company and pre-vision already tickled my interest because there was supposed to be something, a look into the future. So I went to the fair and um, it was really um, a revelation, I have to say, because um, I learned a lot about the lens market and that was due to uh, a very special guest we have on the show today, Mr. Yamaki. You are the CEO of Sigma com company, company of yes. Lens Manufacturing. Yep. And um, you really have a vision for the future. And this vision is due to big changes in the, in the market. And I thought it was so interesting that you presented that I asked you to come to the show. Mm -hmm. Because what is happening in the lens market? Lens market? Yes. Yep. Uh, this year, 2012, was a really remarkable year for the, the high-end cameras. We saw many kinds of the cameras, and one of the, the high-end cameras have a super high resolution. So they say the for cameras, uh, the, the, there are three uh, important uh, factors, uh, lenses and image sensor and uh, DSP, I mean the, the digital imaging processing. Processes. So uh, the naturally, the, if the camera has a higher resolution, the lens must be better than, than before. So lens are required to have a better performance. I had someone in the show yesterday who said that the, the big resolution sensors such as the D Nikon D800 mm -hmm. are great, mm. but what they are lacking at the moment are lenses mm. that are able to put the resolution on the sensor. Mm. So it's not the, 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 the sensor anymore um, that is the limiting factor, but the lenses and their quality in order to, to make, take um, active use of the high resolution of the sensors. That's right, that's right. So, of course, the lens, uh, each lens has its own character. So, uh, we don't say that uh, older lenses cannot use, uh, it's not usable for the high-end uh, camera, uh, high-performance cameras. But uh, if customers really need the high-resolution images, they need to use uh, real fine optics. Today we see these high resolutions in the top range of cameras, but if we look at the speed of development um, in, mm. in cameras, would you say it's 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 right to say that maybe in three, four, five years um, we'll see 36 megapixels in, in consumer cameras as well? Yeah, I hope so. Uh, actually, I, I think so. The the customer's demand for high uh, higher image quality uh, will not stop, I think. So uh, every time customer needs a higher, res a higher image quality, so naturally, the camera has a, a, a even higher uh, image quality. Okay. Now you have become CEO of Sigma um, this year. Yep. Um, and you have thought about this future, and you have, um, as far as I've seen, very clearly analyzed what's going to happen, and you made your uh, uh, your decisions according to that. Mm. Where is Sigma heading um, in the light of these circumstances? Well, actually, uh, as a company, uh, our dream is to commit to the, uh, the photo enthusiasts or the, uh, uh, contribute to the photo culture. So our dream is to, uh, uh, to do something for that. And uh, in toward the, uh, from moving forward, we like to offer the even better products for such a type of uh, customers. Um. If I want to be very picky, I would say okay. <laughs> Sigma so far used to be the company that had very good, a little bit cheaper alternatives to mm -hmm. the manufacturer's lenses. Yeah, yeah. Um, will that be true in the future? Well, uh, in order to uh, enjoy the photography, uh, we believe it's really important to use a good optics, a good lenses. So we like to offer the, the very good optics with the affordable price. This, this wouldn't be changed. But uh, naturally, if we offer the even better products or best optics or best lenses for the customers, uh, we cannot be the cheapest uh, out, uh, the alternative. Uh, but uh, our, uh, we will continuously uh, provide the better optics mm -hmm. uh, for the customers. Now, um, as if I understand correctly, your yeah. strategy is not to be the, the, the cheap alternative. Mm. There's also a reason for that, because you're a Japanese company, and in your presentation I saw that you're very committed to being a Japanese company. There's no option for you to go to China or any cheap manufacturing country. 
Yes, uh, because we are a Japanese company, and uh, uh, first of all, uh, the, as I said, our dream is to uh, offer the, the best uh, uh, lenses for the customers. So uh, we need to uh, stay in Japan, where we can, uh, we believe, uh, we can produce the best uh, products, and also. Uh, our workers play a pr very important role to make a best uh, product. So we will not uh, move to uh, other countries. That we will stay in Japan. That we work together with uh, the, our workers who have been work working a long time for our company. Okay, I think this is very nicely um, illustrated by a video that you have uh, put out, which we can take a look, quick look at your company in Japan, precision, I mean these pictures show how exact things are. Yes. Um, you show your workers. Yep. At your event you're pointing out how proud you are. And here's the, for me as a European, what's really Japanese, the love of nature, of the, oh, yeah. of the landscape, the, the quiet zen <laughs> <laughs> approach, if I may say so. Actually our factory is located in a very beautiful area uh, called Aizu and uh, we are very proud of uh, that area. You are drawing on the strength of your company, craftsmanship, uh, yes. Japanese heritage, uh, precision, all these things to go forward. Yes. And what lies forward is right in front of us because you have announced three, um, three new lenses. Yes. And um, what you also did is to reclassify your lenses into three lines. Oh, yes. Uh, at this Potokina, we announced uh, that uh, the, the new product line and we also announced that the, we will, the new lenses we will design from now on will be assigned to one of the, these uh, product lines. So what are these lines? Uh, the, the three lines uh, is uh, the con uh, contemporary line and art line and sports line. So these, uh, each, sports li uh, each product line has its own dedicated, uh, clearly defined uh, concept uh, and uh, so that uh, customers uh, can understand the approach we've taken that we have taken in designing the, these lenses. The contemporary line uh, always versatile, and uh, uh, we and uh, we make uh, these lenses uh, very compact for the high quality images. And the art line just focus on the image quality or uh, best optical performance. And the sports line uh, delivers, uh, of course, while achieving the very high optical performance, it delivers uh, the very high uh, action capture performance. Okay. That's the three lines. Now let's look at the, um, the top image quality line because okay. um, that, is, that goes with the strategy that we talked about. Um, you designed a new lens and I thought that lens construction had come to a point where we have the best lenses possibly physically, but you, you seem to be pushing the limits. Yes, yes. Uh, the the depending on the camera, uh, the customers, uh, their purpose and the shooting is slightly different. But uh, we like to offer the best optics so for to those those who need a real good optics. So art line offers the best uh, op uh, optical performance. Okay. Um, once again, I, I will switch into some charts that we have here because it was very um, striking to me. This shows really well how much more development is possible, right? Yeah. Um, we're, we're looking at um, test charts here um, for chromatic aberration. Can you yeah. tell me what we see? Y yes. So first of all, uh, this is a new lens, uh, 35 mm f1.4. This is a new lens. Mm -hmm. And uh, as a product concept, we made it the best optical performance. Uh, in other words, the best MTF uh, performance. But in addition to that, we wanted to suppress the amount of the actual chromatic aberration. Actual chromatic aberration is very common for the high-speed lenses. Or in other words, uh, very large right. aperture lenses. So this uh, chart uh, taken by with our uh, 85 mm 1.4. This is a really nice optics, a really nice lens. But uh, uh, because the actual chromatic aberration is so common for this type of lens, uh, you can see the magenta uh, color and the green color, green color in uh, front and the back side of the focus area. Okay, now let me switch over to the 35 millimeter and it's practically gone. Yeah. Uh, yep. how, how do you do that? Well, <laughs> this is a, a design intention. So when we started this project, uh, I had a meeting with the engineers and we talked about the product concept. 
and we thought that we uh, assumed that the customers who really need this type of the lenses may wish the, the very clean, uh, out of clean and smooth out of focus images. So in order to uh, offer such a performance, we believed uh, we need to suppress the amount of the actual chromatic aberration. Well done. A last word about this big piece of quality. I mean, it's unfortunate that um, the, the people uh, watching the film can't touch it because it feels so... Oh, thank you. <laughs> As a German, I have to say it's engineering uh, to the to the to the max. Oh, yeah. What do we have here? 120-300. Yes, uh, this uh, lens uh, offers a, a very high action capture performance, uh, so that the customers can uh, enjoy the, the the wildlife or birds or uh, sports type of uh, shooting. Uh, this lens is a good, uh, it's good for that. Okay. And we have something here that looks like oh a yeah. lens, but it's a, a USB dock for programmable lenses. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it, in conjunction with the USB dock, we announced a new application software. Uh, we call it the Sigma Optimization Pro. It's uh, the software that so that uh, it's to enable the customers to customize their own lenses. The, these days, uh, the lens uh, in the lens, uh, the software or firmware uh, are play an important role. So, by offering the, the software and the USB dock that is establish a communication between lens and the PC application software, uh, the customers can cust uh, the customize the lenses for their own shooting style or purposes. Just when you thought you had seen everything in, uh, uh, that is possible in lenses, someone comes along, uh, 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 takes out chromatic aberration and introduces programmable uh, lenses. I am fascinated. Um, I thank you very much for this outlook for, uh, and I congratulate you for the vision and the road ahead because um, it seems that you're very much in line with the market developments. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for watching. And um, you can check out the, um, the new program of Sigma at sigma-global.com yep. uh, where uh, Sigma has put together um, a visionary statement about what's going to happen. Yes. Thank you very much for being in the show. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much.